Hello, this is Chris Duncan with Find Your Focus Photographic Education, and today we're working in Lightroom 5. And I want to show you a quick, easy way to really direct your viewer's eye to your subject. If you're like me, uh, we use composition a lot in our photographs, and we don't always shoot things right in the center. You know, we photograph off center using rule of thirds and the golden triangle and the ratios and all these different compositional methods, just like this image you see here. So in Lightroom, we have lots of great tools to process our images and really enhance them. One of those under the Effects tab is the Post Crop Vignette. A vignette's been used since the beginning of art, really, to direct the viewer's eye to the part of the subject by darkening the edges. I can do it real extreme here. The problem is with this vignette in Lightroom and most programs is it's based around the center, which really is counterintuitive since we're told not to put stuff in the center. So I want to show you a trick that I've used and started implementing to really draw the viewer's attention to our subject. And that's with the radial, uh, gradiated radial filter. And it's up on your toolbar here, or you can hit uh, Shift-M for that. And what it does is I created a preset, and I call mine Vignette Stack. You'll understand why I have Stack in there in just a minute. And I'm going to go over my settings here. Exposure is about 25, minus 25. My contrast is plus 24. Uh, the highlights and shadows, I have minus 5 highlights and a plus shadow is about 10. Um, those will change depending on image. I bring my clarity down to about 30. I don't want to increase any or add any more sharpness or detail in the vignette. And my saturation usually stays about the same. Uh, sharpness can play. I have my sharpness down a little bit, about negative 16. And my feather is about two thirds of the way feathered, uh, 60. 60 to 64, sometimes I change that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my cursor and do a, put it right on her. We're going to reset that, I'm sorry. Put it right on here and draw just a soft little circle. I want it just on her face. Okay. And so I, I'm going to make it real extreme so you can see how that would just darken the edges if I wanted to. Like I said, I keep it at about 25 for, minus 25 for now. Okay, so that just darkens a little bit. It's pretty subtle, right? But at least I can vignette where I want it. Now I'm going to go over here to my palette again and hit New. So I got one radial filter. Well, now I can add a second one. And I'm just going to make this circle a little bit bigger to cover my entire subject area. And I like to bring this exposure down to about 40 to 50. So now you can see I'm really directing my viewer's eye. And this is where I'll play at the feather to make sure that really ties together well. Okay, I think that's a nice mix. Okay, then I'm going to hit new again, and I'm going to draw an even bigger circle, and really just trying to hit the edges this time. I don't need to hit so much because I've already done that, and then I'll bring this exposure down to maybe negative 50. And I want to adjust the size of this circle just a bit, just for my liking. And then I can go back and play with my contrast. And the good thing I like about this is if I want to adjust this that one circle and make it smaller and adjust the exposure on or the contrast or the saturation or any of those sliders, I have that total creativity for non-destructive right there. And so to me that's really nice. So I'm going to go back to this middle circle. And I'm going to pull my highlights down just to hit some of those bright things on that those blades of grass that are outside of her. So I can really hit that. So I can turn this on and off. And you can see how it dramatically draws the eye right to our viewer. Or right to our sub, draws the viewer's eye right to our subject, excuse me. And with Lightroom we have this amazing ability to now where we can select multiples hit sync, sync radial filters, and then if we have another image that's similar, you know, they may not, it's going to put them based on points, but it's really easy to come in here and drag them where we want them. A lot of the work's already done for us, all the settings that we like, and we can really create those vignettes across multiple images that are very similar. So, this is something I've started implementing really recently to really direct the viewer's eye. I think it's so much more intuitive and more powerful than just the post-crop vignette tool that Lightroom offers us.
So now I can go back in the post crop and still adjust that if I feel it's necessary, but even turning that off, I think I have a very nice image and I'm happy with the results that this gives me. So one thing I want to encourage you to do is play with these colors. You can really, uh, there's a button under here on your brush tool or your radial filter tool that has this uh, color. So you can change the color out there if you really want it to be, want to make it warmer, you want to make it cooler. I really do some fun stuff. So experiment with this and play it. I mean, it's you can really create some fun effects right here in Lightroom and not have to worry about jumping back and forth to Photoshop. So once again, this is Chris Duncan with Find Your Focus Photographic Education, and today we're working in Lightroom 5. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and happy creating.